Korean Army. So, first off, we will be doing another Q&A, so comment your questions down below. And secondly, on my last Q&A video that I did, um, someone commented about taking steroids and about their side effects and whatnot, and I made a ignorant statement saying that you only should take drugs if you're trying to be the next Mr. Olympia. So first off, I just want to apologize. If I say something that I later on don't agree with, I'll be the first to apologize. I didn't delete the comments still there for you guys to see it. But um, yeah, I'll be the first to say that that was a very ignorant statement. So here's, and I just want to elaborate on that. And here's what I think about drugs and steroids and all that stuff. Um, I think it's very dependent on your goals. I don't have anything against anyone who decides to take drugs. The reason I said that is because I know majority of my viewers. And majority of you guys watching this video are from, and this is what I know from like the comments and stuff and the feedback that I ask from you guys, is majority of you guys have been lifting for one to two years and just want to look good. That's majority of you guys watching. Comment down below if that's you because it's a lot of you guys from what I see in the comments. And if you've only been lifting for one to two years and your goal is just to look good, or it doesn't matter how long you've been lifting for, you could have been lifting for five or ten years, if your goal is just to look good, then you don't need drugs. But if drugs are, you know, mandatory or a part of your goal, like let's say you want to be an IFBB pro you, and you know, you don't got the crazy Gen X to go IFBB Pro or whatnot, and you feel like you need drugs, then by all means take it. Let's say you want to become like a monster, you just want to be like Rich Piana and have like 30 inch arms or whatever he has, then chances are you're going to have to get take drugs or get really, really, really fat, um, but, most of, but mostly drugs. And yeah, or let's say you have strength goals that you want to hit, man. You have like goals to bench, you know, 500 pounds at a certain body weight, at a light body weight, and, or you have a goal to deadlift, you know, some crazy amount of weight, and drugs are involved in that. And let's say you don't even power lift, who cares? Maybe you just want to be strong as fuck. Then, you know what? By all means, if that's what it takes to get your goals, I'm all about it. All I'm about is progress and hitting your goals, man. That's the fun thing about fitness. That's what makes fitness fun is setting goals and hitting them. Setting goals and hitting them. That's what makes life in general fun is setting goals and hitting them. And it's like an endless progression. That's how I look at life is like an endless climb to the mountaintop. You know, lots of people think education stops after high school or college, but it never stops, man. You always can keep on learning and keep on growing. And <clears throat> that's just my thoughts on it, man. Um, secondly, someone else com commented a very good comment or a very good question that I want to address as well. And they talked, and this kind of relates to the first topic. He commented that in an industry filled with, you know, all these scams, Photoshop, drugs, you know, how do I stay natural in such a, like a negative industry with so much negativity going on? And here's my answer to that. I don't give a fuck about what anyone else is doing. In any industry you look at, there's always gonna be those kind of people, man. But if you wanna make it far in anything you do, you just can't give a fuck about what people think about you, what people say about you. You just have to have a good heart about what you're doing and just focus on yourself, man. If you focus on your own progress and you keep, you know, you stay positive and you just ignore the Yamchas and you just focus on yourself, you will make it far in anything you do. I promise you guys. The good thing about not having social media growing up, um, when I started lifting, you know, 12 years ago, is I couldn't really compare myself to anyone else, man. I couldn't, you know, all I knew was about me and Tyson. You know, that's all, that's all I knew. And I didn't have all these social media people in front of my face telling me, oh, you gotta be shredded year round. Oh, you gotta be, you know, you gotta look like this. This is the industry standard you know you gotta be look like this to to be popular to make money on to make money in the fitness industry man and I never had any of that bullshit around me you know what all we did was we love lifting we focused on our own progress and that's it we just looked in the mirror had our blindfolds on and focus on ourselves, man and that's what I do till this day Tuesday, all I'm focused on is my own progress, man. And 
as long as you're making progress, then no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your progress may not be as fast as someone else's progress. It might not. It might be a lot slower than other people's progress. You might live for five years, and your friend that just picked up the weights his first year in could look better than you. But who cares, man? That's the fun, another fun thing about fitness is everyone's journey is gonna be slightly different. Everyone's journey is gonna be unique in their own way, man. Um, Something I loved about, a lot of you guys look at me lifting for 12 years. I'm going on 12 years this summer of lifting, man, consistently too, man. Because I love this shit, but a lot of you guys look at me and they're like, oh man, I just need to stay consistent and you know, I'll keep on making progress and I'll look great 12 years in, just like Goku does. And I'm looking at lots of the guys in like the natural bodybuilding industry and you look at a lot of these natural pros that are winning shows They've been training for longer than I, even I've been alive for. They've been training for, you know, 20, 30 plus years. And they look flipping amazing and they're winning shows. And that's my inspiration, you know? Like, I know, like, if I keep on going, and lots of people think that gains stop after you hit your newbie gains, but it doesn't. It slows down, yes. And it keeps on slowing down. It's like a downward pace, man. It slows down ever so much. but. I'm focused on one, my own progress, and two, helping you guys, which is probably even more important than number one, to be honest. And I just want to thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for you guys following me on Snapchat, snapping me all your progress. A lot of you guys are snapping me, you know, your PRs and benching, your PRs and you know, your overhead presses and whatnot from all my videos that have been helping you guys. And yeah, someone actually just sent me their overhead press. They just hit a PR because they took a wider grip. They took a couple of the tips that I did from that video. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. But that is why I do what I do. And I just want to thank you guys. Keep on going, man. Keep on making your own progress. Keep on focusing on yourself. And you guys will go very far in anything you do, man. Um, heading to Colorado tomorrow with Chi Chi. Chi Chi wasn't in the last Q&A because she's been under the weather trying to get better for this trip. We're going to be chilling with the Han champion um and his girl so you guys will see footage from that anyways see you guys in the next video leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you're not much love strength and honor kill your workout today aloha vegeta what does the scouter say about his power level it's over 9,000!